Uh, it's pretty beat up, right? Uh, it's at the point where it's so beat up, you're going to need to get in there physically on site yourself or with your trusted contractor and put together a line by line bid, right? Once you do that, you'll know where you're at, how much you could bid on the particular property, and you should be able to collect about $1,900 a month in rent. The stairs are non existent on this portion past the landing. We're going to enter unit uh, 344. We were just in 346 adjacent here. Let's take a look. View from the top of the stairs. Go into the kitchen here. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Not all duplexes are created equally, y'all. No, they're not, okay? If you guys have watched my content, watched Holton Wise TV, been learning about real estate through the Holton Wise TV platform, uh, and are familiar with what I do, this is something I speak about quite often, okay? The layout of your particular duplex is really going to matter. If you have the ability to get a side-by-side, -side, that's for like one unit here, one unit here, if you can get one of those duplexes versus an up-down duplex, you are going to be in so much better uh, of a position for the long term uh, of your investment. It's much better for the tenants. It's worth more. It rents for more. They stay for longer. There's less fights. It's great. The only negative is not as many of those have been built as the up-downs, right? So when we're talking Dayton, Ohio, y'all, most of the duplexes we're coming across are going to be the up-downs, which is not in and of itself a bad investment, but... The side-by-sides, if you had the opportunity to get your hands on one of those, you're going to be in a better long-term position. And you got to look at the long-term if you're going to look at this deal. 344 Fountain Avenue, okay? Now, this is going to need a full rehab, right? You're going to need to get in there and do everything to this thing, okay? Uh, we got the tour for you, obviously, so you can see. Uh, it's pretty beat up, right? Uh, it's at the point where it's so beat up, you're going to need to get in there physically on site yourself or with your trusted contractor and put together a line by line bid, right? Once you do that, you'll know where you're at, how much you could bid on the particular property, and you should be able to collect about $1,900 a month in rent, right? $950 per unit. And I believe that your tenants are going to stay longer. <clears throat> Your tenants are going to stay longer than tenants would otherwise be staying if it was an up-down duplex, right? Uh, when you're into these types of neighborhoods, you're into the Section 8 investing, the name of the game, y'all, is reducing your tenant turnovers. Tenant turnovers are the biggest return killer. You don't want to do tenant turnovers because tenant turnovers lead to costs, right? You have to repair it. You have vacancies. Then your properties go vacant for a very long time. Then sometimes you'll get crime and then people will break into your house and then you can end up with a particular property like this one uh, where it's been empty for quite some time. It's been completely torn apart and you got to come in and you got to completely put it all back together, right? But this particular property, after you do your renovation, figure out how much it's going to cost and submit your as is cash offer to us you want to get this thing rocking and rolling get it section 8 ready you could be bringing in $1900 a month now if you'd like to tour it take your contractor in there totally cool hit us up before five o'clock eastern standard time and we will get you in there the same day if not uh we'll get you in there the following day if you're trying to burr this out right if you're a burr strategy investor okay you want to buy it cash fix it up renovate it, get some tenants in there, probably some Section 8 tenants, collect that $1,900 a month, and then you want to pull all that money back out so you can start the process over using the same cash. That's great. I have investors who want to work with people like you. I have investors, private money lenders, traditional lenders, all types of monetary loan products for investors like you guys. It doesn't even matter if you're local to Ohio. You don't even have to be in Dayton. You don't have to be in Cincinnati. You don't even have to be in the USA. They will actually loan to foreign nationals, although I'll be honest with you, right, we got to understand this right here up front. Foreign nationals do not get as good of terms as those living in America, but whether you live in Dayton, Cincinnati, 
or freaking California, you're going to get pretty much the same terms from uh, these investor lenders, right? So if you guys need lenders, you need money for those refis, just let us know, sales at HoltonWise.com to get a tour, sales at HoltonWise.com. And then after that, submit your as-is cash offer. No contingencies whatsoever will be accepted, okay? We want you to do your due diligence, and you absolutely need to do a bunch of due diligence because this is going to require a very large overhaul. However, you need to get all that done before submitting the offer because we are not going to take the property off the market while you do your due diligence. Due diligence needs to be done up front, but we're going to make this thing as easy as possible for you to get in and do all that due diligence. Let's go. Downstairs. Actually, the stairs are non-existent on this portion past the landing. Um, so it looks like about to be as far as I'm about to go, as it's about a six-foot drop. Um, let's get back up here and see if we can get some better views. It's really unfortunate because I need to get a view of the furnace and the water heater. Going upstairs now. Go left here. This to be a small bedroom. Pretty decent sized closet that's attached. Old laundry chute. Pretty nice sized bedroom here. Another nice little closet. size closet here. See if I can't get these windows to shut. Back out through here. There's a stairway we came up. Looks to be a small bedroom here. Two windows. Nice closet. Bathroom here. Looks like somebody did somewhat of a tear out already on it. Attempted to do some uh, some plumbing here. Looks like they tried to run some pecs and we can kind of tell what happened there. Um, New toilet flange. Looks like they attempted to put a new tub in. Looks like the uh, bathroom on the other side of the other unit over there. So. Let's go back down the stairs here. this view you have the living room and the dining room. And I believe this is unit 346. Go out here. Got that behind us. Uh, we'll go over here to uh, unit 344 and check it out. We're going to enter unit uh, 344. We were just in 346 adjacent here. Let's take a look. Once again, coming into the uh, living area. Same little fireplace setup. Looks like we got some materials from a previous repair attempt. Take a 
walk around in here. Hopefully we can get into the basement of this unit. Stairwell. Little dining area once again. Floors actually seem to be pretty solid in here. As far as these wood floors go, obviously uh, drywall dust and some paint on them, but they're pretty solid. A little closet. Go into the kitchen here. A little, little breakfast nook area, or like I said, put a fridge in there. Not sure how they want that set up. Kitchen cabinets obviously need to tear out and replace. top in here one cabinet once again you go out to the outside little mudroom entrance um backyard go back in here We can't get in this. Oh. Looks like we're going to be able to make it in this one. I apologize. Uh, forgot the uh, flashlight. <laughs> Kind of going down here blind, but at least this one has stairs. Basement actually seems to be pretty dry. Duck work. Looks like the duck work has been detached. Looks like that may have been where the furnace or water heater was, which is now missing Let's go here and see if we can see this electrical panel I apologize for the darkness this uh, will not happen again older breaker set up older screw and fuse style looks like the, uh, the electric meter is actually missing out of this one like most of the things are actually missing out of this basement as far as HVAC and water heater, etc. Um, but it does seem to be dry. Doesn't seem to be any bad structural damage on the walls. Head back upstairs here. Stairs will definitely have to be redone. It looks like somebody has attempted to make a small rebuild on them. Didn't do very well. Head upstairs in this unit. Looks like they took the carpet off of these ones. Let's, uh, let's turn left on this one. <clears throat> little hallway, little bedroom here, little step up closet, two little storage units. Bathroom, same setup. It's a bathroom over there, the unit we were just in. So they replaced the flange. Oh, see, same pack setup. Go down the hallway here. Another little bedroom. Not real sure what that is. Sitting area or something. Down the hall here. This must be the master bedroom. Pretty decent size. Nice closet.
Okay. Another little laundry chute. Down here. View from the top of the stairs. And this is unit 346 on Fountain Avenue, Dayton, Ohio. Attached to you. The other unit here. I'm just going to take you down here. Let's go get a street view while we're doing this. Looking west and east. This is the neighboring properties. That's what we got on video for uh, this property. Um, and that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.